Derek in Georgia. How you doing today? Hey, I'm doing well. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. and your audio sounds great. <laughs> and, and Derek, real quick, did the call screener warn you not to ask if we can hear you? <laughs> Johnny. Uh, no. <laughs> no. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to have some words with that. Johnny. Like, All right. So no, what you got for us today, Derek? Uh, so I guess I would like to say I'm a theist uh, in the sense that I think it's the most reasonable um, conclusion to come to based on my understanding. Uh -huh. And I guess the okay. way I would go about it is uh, consciousness. Um, I know it's really hard to understand consciousness, but I think there's a few uh, premises that we could agree on potentially. Um, okay. So I was wondering if maybe I could ask those couple just to see if we can yeah. have some common ground and then kind of move to my conclusion. Sure. So, go ahead. First of all, can we agree that consciousness exists? Uh, for some definition of exist, I'm sure we can. Okay. And can we agree that plants have consciousness? Uh, you would need to demonstrate that. As far as I know, consciousness needs a uh, mind, and I don't know that plants have a mind. So I don't know how they well, can be conscious. So you need to demonstrate that. Well, when you say plants, uh, I mean, in order to have consciousness, you need a mind. Can you demonstrate that? What do you mean when you say mind? Well, I mean like a, an actual set of neurons dedicated to processing information uh, in much the same way that, that most animals do. So, so, So plants have been demonstrated to respond to stimuli and pain right um would that not qualify as some sort of conscious well like so the the the, the, the the working definition or the definition out of the dictionary for consciousness is a state of being awake and aware of one's surroundings um right awareness of perception by of something by a person or, or awareness and i think there's a difference between awareness and a uh, res and responding to uh, one's surroundings uh, in, say, the way the plant would, right? A plant's going to start uh, growing roots towards water and, and things like that, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's making a decision to do so, as far as we know, as far as has been demonstrated. So, you, I mean... You, the consciousness is kind of hard to hard to, to to nail down, but I don't know that that plants are actually making a conscious decision in the same way that say um, a gopher would make a conscious decision to go for this food source or that food source or be able to recognize danger. So I mean, there's there's some differences there that I'm not necessarily willing to to give to plants in terms of consciousness. Do they react to their environment? Sure. Is that the same thing as, as an animal doing the same thing? I don't think so, but willing to hear some evidence on it. Well, I guess, I, I guess what I would ask and follow up to that is, I guess what, what you may or may not be determining is just because it responds to stimuli doesn't mean that it's actually aware of itself. But I guess in a materialistic view, um, we would probably assume that even your thoughts and awareness of yourself are, are just electrical signals interpreted by your brain, right? That's just chemical responses to physical stimuli, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, that's what it seems. Yes. So yeah. who are we to the? So how did you determine that that is? You know, a human's consciousness is that of a mind, but a plant's is not of a mind. If, uh, the if the level of interaction that. with the, the the level of interaction and decision making. Decision, but aren't our decisions? I, I've even seen Matt Dillahunty. Obviously, that's he's not there, but I've seen the argument that we may not even have free will because those are just synapses firing within the brain, right? Through our nervous system. 
uh, that even those are just chemical reactions and not really yeah. even our decision. And, and, and even with, even even with that, well. even with that, there's a level of complexity um, to that that uh, plants may or may not, uh, have not been demonstrated to have. For instance, uh, animals have been known to forego pain for a, a goal. Um, you need to show that plants kind of do the same thing. And those are the things that, that kind of differentiate between those two things, um, you know, is, is the complexity and the ability to override uh, those senses, I think, as well. And so, yeah, I, I'm not really willing to, to give that to, to plants at the moment without a, a, a lot more evidence of something more going on than, than just cells doing cell things um, in plants. I don't, I don't know whether or not plants have consciousness. I, I don't know whether or not worms have consciousness or ants or even my beloved dog has a kind of consciousness per se. Uh, but how does that prove the really? existence of God? That, I don't know. I don't know because I, I, I don't have all the answers. I'm not the right. answer. Well, we're, on the, we're, on the, the, we're on the second premise. We're on the, yeah. se the second premise yeah. of... Uh, the first one was that humans have consciousness. We agreed. We're disagreeing on the second one that plants also have consciousness. And I don't know that I'm really going to be willing to, um, without some pretty serious that. amounts of, of uh, scientific evidence, to actually grant that. So, no, I'm not willing to grant that at the moment. And we don't have time in this call to go into it. So, Sure. Sure. Well, I guess what I was going to go at was, um, obviously, if we could agree that plants have some type of consciousness, then we could uh, potentially agree that consciousness is not dependent upon a brain. And if that was the case, then obviously you could see where I was going with that. Mm, yeah, no, there's, um, there's, yeah. And I would say that even if you were to prove that there are cells in a plant that allow it to make decisions and that we could call that thing a brain of some kind, no matter how simple, um, that with what we normally think of as consciousness uh, would still, at that point, once that those cells died, then you no longer have that consciousness anymore. So I don't, I, even if I were to grant that, I don't see how you get there. Yeah, we're talking about uh, well, organisms, we're, uh, Derek, we're talking about organisms who that have uh, physical matter and uh, a nervous system of some kind some kind of a structure that has some form of electricity and chemicals running through it. Um, now let's jump to God. Uh, where is the physical substance? Are you, are you saying that God requires a physical substance? Well, I'm saying show me a consciousness of any kind that exists outside of a physical reality, like matter and energy every every single form of consciousness or debatable consciousness all the way down to plants if you want to have some there's something there there right there's a there's a, a string of nerves there's a spinal cord there's responsive uh, cells and stuff that respond to stimulus stimuli stimulus stimula um, but now you're talking about God exists without that. Now show that there are other examples of non-physical based consciousness. Non-physical based consciousness. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone would agree that consciousness is physical um, or dependent upon physical, especially really? if we can. Yes. Really? I, give I, me an I, example I, of a non-physical consciousness, Derek. I'm sorry. I, I cut you off. I did. That's not fair. Uh, give me an example of a non-physical consciousness, one that isn't rooted somewhere in uh, a brain or a string of nerves or something like that. Um, I guess I would say, not that I'm trying to shift the burden of proof, but the the question that you're asking me is assuming that consciousness is reliant on a brain and i was wondering if if you were able to demonstrate that no you're well, the so one that's far, a... so far every every instance of consciousness that we can point at has a brain attached to it and that is that is the evidence that we're accepting 
We don't know that there is any that that it is possible for a, a consciousness to exist without some sort of physical attribute. And so we're not claiming that it's not possible. We're simply asking you for the evidence that yeah, it is possible. Well, and if it yeah. is possible, if it is not possible to provide that evidence, then how do you conclude that a, a God is possible? Yeah, that's exactly right, Jim. Thank you. Well, I, I guess that's where we came back to the definition of consciousness, consciousness being the state of being awake or aware of one's surroundings. And we know right. plants are, in fact, aware of their surroundings. That's why well, a lot so, of them don't uh, move. Yeah, the, the, Then we get into the question of, of what do we mean by aware? I will agree that plants react to their surroundings. And from that point of view, you could use the word aware. But Not I don't know that... React. Well, yeah. what else do they do? I mean, plants can actually... Uh, be proactive, not reactive. And how are they proactive? Um, how are they proactive? Uh, let's see. I can come up with a example. Make it quick. Yeah, that it's difficult for them to 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 come up with something that's proactive. Because I mean, even um, like your Venus flight traps are reactive, right? Um, to the, the, the their prey landing on them. So I don't know that you could actually. I read a book called The Hidden Life of Trees. Great book. I don't know if you've ever read that one, Jim. It talks mm -hmm. about this, the complicated interactions between the environment, uh, stimulus, and plants. And uh, I will not deny that I learned an awful lot of things about how interactive, how responsive plants are, how they communicate in one form or another through uh, spermatozoa and hormones and seedlings and all these other things, signals and uh, through the mycelial network below the surface of the earth. It's amazing what they can do, what they do do. Um, but that doesn't, at no point was I thinking, oh, there's a tree thinking, I want to be the best tree that I can possibly be. I wonder, you know, about God. God must exist. Just no. look at me. Look at me. I mean, I don't think you're saying that. I think what you're saying is that yeah, the no, fact I think we're strong you know, manning now, but um, I, I said I don't I think you're saying that. What I'm saying is that the very fact that there is an organism that responds to stimulus does not itself make it conscious. Right. So there's did, a qualitative. Did you, that, did, did you come up with that ex that example you're looking for? Um, well. In, in the process of trying to find that example, and uh, I'm kind of a little nervous because I'm on the spot and I got to find it quickly. Yeah. So it dawned on me while I was trying to look for it that, wait, so we're saying that because we can't prove that it's not only reactive and not, and not proactive, is that, is that us assuming that humans are, proactive and not just reactive it's not no. all just literally a chemical reaction in the brain before we make Jim, any me, decision me, or I, I, yeah I, do, I don't know that we can prove it one way or the other at the moment it's a giant i don't know we appear yeah. to be proactive but there is a definite possibility that you know we aren't proactive or reactive at all we're just going along with whatever the chemistry says so i don't know that that's the case but so you might for the, conclude that it's also possible that plants are just as conscious as human beings and well we i would say that. i I, I would, well, it is possible, and that's why I'm asking for evidence that it is, in fact, the case. Right? Yeah, well, you're the one making that's assertions, keep... Derek, yeah. and, and we're waiting for you to provide evidence instead of, is it possible? Well, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm, yeah. not a, I'm not a treeologist or a plantologist. Right. They call them uh, botanists, right, or something like that. Yeah, botanists. Yes, anyway, yes. so, but do yeah. you have any evidence that it is the case? And that's what we're looking for. And you say they react to their, their environment. I agree they react, but I don't think well, that reaction thinking, is what I would call consciousness. Well, yeah, because I was thinking of the Venus flytrap when you said that. And you're like, well, it's reactive. And it's like, well, isn't that, I mean, it's literally reaching out and grabbing something. No, it waits. It doesn't reach out and grab anything. It waits for the fly to land on the leaf, and then it, it closes. Now, it does use some pheromones to try to attract stuff, but it's waiting for the fly to land. 
Derek, Derek. And I, I don't know that's anything, again, anything more than reactive. So yeah. I, even, even if we grant that tr uh, plants are conscious in the way you want them to, you now have to still demonstrate that it's possible to have a consciousness without a brain. And I would say that we could probably go in and maybe botanists have go into the plants and figure out what the, the reaction mechanism is and that that reaction mechanism is actually based on cells doing cell stuff. So you still haven't proven that God exists. Yeah. Derek, give it to us because uh, I'm kind of done with this conversation. I, I, I appreciate, again, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Jim has been very generous with his time and intellect with you. Um, let's have it. And if we can't agree on these premises, then maybe we can't get any further than that. No, maybe yeah. It, so I'm not, I'm not uh, so presumptive to think that I could even present the conclusion without first agreeing on the premises. So if we can't agree yeah. on the premises, I, I do realize that, uh, that it's pointless. Yeah. Well, well Derek, uh, life, okay. life is long, Derek, and, and we have more time to talk. So maybe go, we'll break. Let's agree that we're going to stop talking now and we're going to go off in our separate directions and you're going to come back with better evidence and we'll be here. If not me, definitely Jim and others, We'll be here to continue this conversation. You're welcome to join me in talk heathen sometime uh, to talk about plants being conscious. Um, but I'm I'm kind of it's cool. We don't have to settle this <laughs> right now. But I'm not right. convinced. I don't think Jim sure. certainly. No, convinced. no, definitely not. Yeah. Any last words, Derek? I, I can agree with that. All right. All right. Good talking to you, man. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs>